everyone talking about Tyrannosaurus rex by zoologists. The notes in this are bergamot, black pepper, fir, as in F-I-R, not animal fur, although you never know them. Laurel leaf, neroli, nutmeg, champaca, geranium, jasmine, osmanthus, rose, lang lang, resins, cade, cedar, civet, frankincense, leather, patchouli, sandalwood, and vanilla. So this is one of those where I almost didn't try it at the time because I was like, there's no way I'm gonna like that. One, from like looking at the notes list or whatever, and two, just from the way people talked about it, like, oh, it's so intense and pungent. And this was before I kind of quite realized just how much I love really intensely smoky scents, for example. So yeah, I was just kind of like, I don't want to try that. And then I think I threw in a sample, maybe I got one for free or something like that. And I was like, okay. But I ended up loving it. It is definitely extremely intense, but I find it completely captivating. As I always say, to me, it, almost, it smells like almost like burning trash in a jungle, but in an intoxicating way. And by burning trash, I don't mean literally like trash. I don't know if anybody's been in type of areas where they burn trash, like in certain parts, you know, there's a lot of places around the world where that's done. But uh, yeah, it so that kind of vibe, maybe that's, there's places that I used to spend a lot of time in the South Pacific when I was younger where they would do that and where they would be like torch lighting ceremonies at night. And it just brings so much nostalgia for me, which I always think is funny to say about this of all fragrances. <laughs> based on an apocalypse or whatever, but of like being there and the smell of like the torches being lit and the evening and maybe some spices being grilled from dinner being cooked at the same time. Oh God, I love this. So yeah. And as anybody who watches is probably familiar, but if you don't, maybe not only about like one to in 100 to 150 fragrances that I try is full bottle worthy for me. So I'm very picky about that, but this is the type I can't imagine not wanting to own this for the rest of my life. And I don't even really wear it much at all, but I just love just being able to even just pick it up and smell it. Oh, it is just so good. I mean, it's just an absolute masterpiece. It's like, yeah, almost Shalimar style incense sort of um, next to like, yeah, campfire or a tar pit. And then there's like florals in it, but it's definitely not a floral fragrance. It's almost like jungly style like that. And yeah woods at the same time just i don't know there's it's hard to even explain this one and i think this is a must try for anyone whether or not this is your taste at all because especially if you've more you know trying more niche and stuff like that this gets referenced a lot people will talk about it so it's good to be just kind of familiar and have a reference for what the smell that they're talking about is and maybe you'll end up loving it like i did but yeah i just find it like so cozy yet intriguing and invigorating about it you know something about it's just so captivating um this also the longevity and projection are insane for me like when i first tried this on a test strip i was like oh i'm curious how long this will last because usually even really good longevity stuff maybe like 48 hours would still be a pretty long time if it's like i barely sprayed any eight days later it was still strong on that test strip and finally just threw it out i was like okay point proven I, it lasts a long time and definitely lasts a long time and projects a lot on skin i would almost never wear this in public because it could come across as way too intense one time I braved it before going to the grocery store, and I don't know if I was just imagining it, but I felt like everybody was like staring at me. Or, it was almost like if you were stoned or something and suddenly just like all your senses are heightened and paranoid. Like, wait, are they looking at me because of that? Or were they just looking around? Like thinking like, shit, did I smell disturbing to everybody around me? But yeah, but I just love having it. And I would say unisex lady masculine goes for, I think about 210 for a 60 milliliter and yeah, I just absolutely love this and I don't think it's for everyone by any means, but like I said, I do think it's something that would be worth trying for a lot of people just so you can kind of get a reference and a link in the description where you can check it out.